My love and curiosity about one of the world's most famous mountains came at an early age. I grew up 15 minutes from Disneyland, and one of the visual sights we could see from our house was the tip of Matterhorn. I'd watch the fireworks at night from our front yard and see all its glory. It has always been on my bucket list, and recently I had the opportunity to visit for a couple of days and experience the magic of this mountain. Here is my experience. I took a four-hour train ride from Geneva that was beyond beautiful to the mountain resort of Zermatt. With beautiful waterfalls and rivers so clean you could see the rocks below, this ride was probably the most memorable in my life. Once I reached, I took another train which takes 30 minutes to the Gornigrat. It is the highest altitude open air cog railway in Europe which summits at 3100 meters. When you arrive, you see the mountains surrounding you from all sides. Snow so white you could feel you are in heaven and clouds you can touch while breathing the clean, crisp air. While I was up there, my eyes were treated to lakes that are frozen, a church, a hotel with incredible views, and surrounded by 29 4,000 meter giant mountain ranges that complement the beauty of Matterhorn. I also spent time trying to see Matterhorn through the clouds that were passing through and played in the snow with strangers. Being up here was peaceful. You hear the wind blowing, crackling of the snow, and I felt like I was on top of the world. It was time to head back down, but one last view of Matterhorn behind us. When I got back to the old village center in Zermatt, I first visited the touching memorial of those who died climbing Matterhorn. I then found another spot where you could see the mountain for the sunset. We had to be patient as the clouds filtered through to eventually get a clear view of the mountain. A fun fact, the triangular shape of the Matterhorn is commonly believed to have given Theodore Tobler his inspiration for the shape of the Tobler and chocolate. There are many places to stay in the old village. I stayed at the historic Mont Servin Palace built in 1852. Gorgeous property. The one thing I didn't have time to do, which I highly recommend, is walking across the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge, which is two train stops from Zermatt in a small town called Zanda. The bridge spans 1,620 feet in length. If you have wanted to see Matterhorn, do it. Summertime is as fun as winter. Switzerland is one of the more pricey countries in Europe, so be prepared for premium pricing on everything. Remember, today is a gift, so make every day count. I'm Nabil Kazi, and this is another vlog of Vagabond Tales.